guys, it's Queen Deja, and in today's video, I will be reacting going to episode 7 of Tribe 9, so let's go ahead and get started in 3, 2, 1, hold on, in 3, 2, 1, go. Yeah, here we go. Yes, I know, you're probably wondering, like, why the heck this is either 3 days late or 4 days late, busy, and I'm gonna be even busier next week. Hey, at least it's something rather than nothing. Sir, are you serious? Jesus Christ. Huh. Bruh, imagine if he loses count. Oh my god, no. No, 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 no. <laughs> I cannot imagine, like, if somebody said, oh, hey, I need you to do this many push-ups, and you lose count, oh, my God, you got to start all over. That. Mm -mm, mm, no, it sucks. No! <laughs> oh, God. I wonder if we're just, like, with this week's episode... We're going to go back and forth between Haru and Tiga because, I mean, as much as I liked how le last week was a little bit of both, but it was majority of a Taiga focused episode, it would be nice to have, like, a Haru-centered focus episode because he punches baby boy and I love him and he needs more character development. I'm just saying until this damn game comes out once again. <laughs> in here even though I turn the air off. I hate that. Hmm? Oh, I hate that. That's like Twitter followers. Oh my god, like when you have that one one Twitter follower that you know you be like you don't follow me, no, and then you block them and then they create another profile. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> huh? <laughs> Poor baby. There's the cat. Nah, he's got something, of course.
Damn, Kazuki. Yeah, but the thief, though. is holding that thing like ah uh. oh Jesus it had to be Kazuki because who else why would someone else want it well no it makes sense why other people would steal you know Shun's you know bat but come on now <laughs> do look at him <laughs> even angry he looks so cute <laughs> no, you're not overthinking it, babe. No, I don't think you said that to get real tiny, um, but you know, yes, Kazuki. Oh! Jesus. But the whole number was also your fault too as well. Hmm? Money. Yeah, but hold up, guys. Like, what if this all is just a big, fake plan just to trap you guys? I mean, let's be a little smart. <laughs> of course, all you would think about is fucking money. <laughs> like freaking Tagami's house. <laughs> oh my god. Seriously? You don't want her to- Oh, hell no! Well, I mean, shit, for money, you know what? Yeah, go ahead, step on me! <laughs> shit! <laughs> Oh, 
He's probably around, you know, of course, he's very suspicious. Oh, you're okay! I thought you were dead! <sighs> right. Uh, holy shit. And you three are? The one on the far right looks familiar. Uh, candy. I think that is her. Yeah. I mean, honestly, that doesn't seem hard, but, I mean, yeah, you gotta have, like, the best bag of them. <laughs> oh, shit. Mm. But, damn. them though of course <laughs> I can't. Guys, this isn't a good idea. Oh, there's Kaza. You know, I had to do his own thing. Right. Yeah, those girls giving them drinks.
This is a trap. No! Okay, blonde foot to come here. <laughs> I get that, but like, hold up now. Make sure that money's legit. So that's why you told Haru to keep it back there. You deleted them all, remember? <laughs> yeah, you kept sending them to the spam folder. <laughs> <laughs> That's a fake. No, he's good. <laughs> Yes, I understand. I'd be upset about losing that money too. But Haru did the good thing. He did. The, he made the right decision. You don't need that money. I mean, you know, Kazuki, you're still suspicious as hell. I 
thank God. Of course, so it's, a, it's his own damn fault, honestly. Of course it was him! Basically. And then in the end, you get this. I still fucking love him. <laughs> but, uh, finally she made her freaking appearance. Like, Jesus Christ. She's, like, the girl with the, um, silver grayish hair and such who a lot of people say is, like, a Gundam and Sonya's, like, child offspring type-ish because she literally looks like both of them combined. I'm so happy she's finally here. Like, uh, because she was, like, she's the only, she was the only other girl in this series who I really wanted to see. I've seen, we've already seen everybody else who are my best girls. She was the last chick who I needed to see. But like, ah, oh, this is good. Honestly, like, <laughs> A.G. Todoroki, what can I say about him? I, I mean, is he dead? Is he alive? Like, who knows? I don't know. I mean, kind of. Anything could happen. But the fact that What's-Her-Face is wanting to, um, get rid of Kazuki, I'm not surprised because Kazuki is this type of godly like character that, you know, he's doing his own little thing for Minato Tribe only because of Shun asking him, but there still is something else still mysterious as fuck about him. We know really nothing about him. This is episode seven and by episode eight, I mean, I'm like, I'm praying to God we kind of get like one episode going in his into his backstory and into the connection that he had with Shun, friendship, whatever. But seven episodes in, I feel like I still don't know shit about Kazuki. Um, having Taiga, you know, be like the first couple minutes of the episode, love that. I, I hope, you know, his training is going well, <laughs> but we ain't gonna be able to see that. It's still next week. But I love the fact that, you know, this week was really, once again, as I said, a Haru-centered episode. Haru really took the leadership role. I mean, he he's technically, him and T uh, Tiga, they, they've gone back and forth ever since Shun died. And sometimes it's, to me, it's kind of better when Haru is the leader because it's like, you know, he knows his ish. <laughs> knows his stuff and not as much as Haru. So hopefully by the end of this series these two are able to come together and make Minoto Tribe like a thousand times better than it was before all the situations with Shun. Still would like to have like, you know, we, we've seen it in little flashbacks especially with Saudi and when she thinks about something but it's more or less like I really kind of wish we get in this and, and it could happen in the game but I want to see how, like, bad, like, the XP got. Like, 
did because you know it makes you wonder did Sha never kill somebody as well i mean you know maybe with his other comrades and stuff he's gone to the point where maybe he's like made them bleed but not to the point of physically killing them unlike um fucking what's his face the dude yeah 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 the dude who <laughs> my other husband i know <laughs> but i can't remember his damn name um, unlike him, because he literally is ruthless, and he, because of who his quote-unquote father is, and what tribe he's a part of, that is a tribe who literally, with the XB situation, no matter what, if they win, if someone forfeits, or and they say, hey, I want this tribe to just ban, he will literally kill them, like, no matter what, like, I mean, damn, like, I'm thinking, like, no, like, he didn't want to kill Shun, but he was like, fuck it, like, you know, hey, it's time for you to die, no matter what, but other than that, guys, that is my reaction view towards episode 7 of Tribe 9, if you guys enjoyed it, please give me a like, it really helps me out, also, subscribe to my channel, I make videos every single day, show the Master Squad, and of course, I will see you guys officially on Monday for, hopefully, it just depends on, like, how tired I am when I get home from work. Um, hopefully for episode eight. Until then, I will see you guys all next time. Bye.